guys, it's Simmer Deb. Uh, yes, Welcome yes. to part seven of Let's Play The Sims 4 Killer Instinct. Now, in the last episode, Aiden rigged the coffee pot and poor Eliza was electrocuted. <laughs> um, Aiden also met his neighbors who live next door, Alexandra Donaldson. Her husband, Aaron, and their son, Blaine. Now, because they do own a house and seem to be set pretty well financially, Aiden has decided to make Alexandra his next target. But first, before he can romance her, he has decided to do away with Aaron. Now, one thing I did discover uh, is that Unless a Sim is a member of your current household, there's only one way you can kill them, and that is with fire. And you cannot set fires on community lots. So, Aiden has decided to invite Aaron over for a barbecue. <laughs> Let's just see if he will come over. What's the problem? You can't invite him over? Let's try this again. Aaron, invite to hang out at current lot. Let's do that. Here we go. And we will see if Mr. Aaron wants to come over. Yes, Aiden, I know you're hungry. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to send Aiden back here. Aiden has decided to rig the gas grill back here so that when Aaron does come over, the gas grill will explode in flames. And here comes Aaron now. And poor Aaron <laughs> we'll go up in flames. So we're going to invite him in first. And once we can get rid of poor Aaron, then Aiden will be free to romance Miss Alexandra. Now, Aiden's not too keen on <laughs> killing children. So, you know... He may just have to... Let's grill some hamburgers. He may just have to... raise their child as his own until he becomes a young adult. I don't know exactly how long it will be. Uh, because I have no way of knowing how old that child is. He's just going to grill up some burgers... And he's going to make sure that when he's finished, yes, fire, he's already planning it. He's going to make sure to leave the gas on. <laughs> and... Yeah, Aaron likes sports. He likes baseball. And Aiden's saying, what do you think about my house? The house that I stole, practically. And don't go away, Aaron. Where are you going, Aaron? Don't go in the house. Hey, come and eat some wonderful hamburgers. Call him over. We don't want him going into the house because we don't really... So, you are. Um, we're going to call him to the <laughs> meal. We don't really Jack want Jack. more fire damage inside the house. We've already had quite a bit of fire damage in the house. And... You gonna sit down? Why don't you sit down right there beside the grill? And let's just see what we can do here. Oh no. What has happened? <laughs> Somehow gas from the grill just mysteriously. And is that stalker chick again? No, that's his wife. Oh my gosh. Um, 
somehow or other, gas from the grill just mysteriously found its way underneath Aaron's chair. And Aaron huh? is on fire. Oh, no, no. And let's see if we can send Aiden out here before he tries to put it, before he tries to play the hero in front of Alexandra and put Aaron out. Run, run to safety. And Alexandra is here to see her husband die. She has no clue that Aiden rigged this whole fire. No clue at all. And she's standing here watching her husband burn to death. Poor Aaron. Um, from what I know of him, he was a good guy. And I'm sure Alexandra will be heartbroken. But as you can see, Aiden is quite happy with himself. <laughs> He's not even tense from the fire. He's like, oh, yeah, so I lost a table outside. Big deal. <laughs> At least his gas grill is still intact. <laughs> and it shouldn't be much longer now. Mr. Reaper should be on his way as we speak. And I don't know why these Sims don't think to drop and roll. You know, they just dance around and try to blow on themselves and, you know, do all this stuff to try to put the fire out. And here he goes. This is the end of poor Aaron. Poor Aaron is now dead. And is that Faith Russo? Yeah, Faith Russo, you're going to get burned if you don't get out of the way. She just shows up, you know. Stalker chick. Always got to be here to find out what's going on. And there's Mr. Reaper. Giving last rites to poor Aaron Donaldson. Who has tragically died <laughs> in a natural gas mishap. Yes, I don't know how in the world... The gas managed to get from the grill to underneath Aaron's chair, but that's something that Aiden is hoping that Alexandra won't think about. Um, look at the ashes on the table where the hamburgers were. Yeah, I'd, I'd say those hamburgers are well done by now. And with Alexandra witnessing this death, um... She's not even going to question Aiden because from the way it looked to her, you know, it was an accidental fire. It was an accidental death. And we will put him over here next to poor Bob and Eliza Pancakes. And when we move, should we take these uh, ashes with us or should we leave them here? I think Aiden's going to take them with him. Um, let's just check up on poor Aiden and see how he's doing and Faith Russo <laughs> you're freaking me out dear just freaking me out okay um, I guess Aiden needs to go back here now that everything is over and put out this fire so that he can comfort Alexandra what's Grim doing Grim's picking up trash <laughs> okay you can't all right here we go uh, uh extinguish. Aiden is going to extinguish the flames. I think. Come on, Aiden. There we go. And Aiden, do not catch yourself on fire. You know you got caught on fire last time. So. And he's feeling fine. Aiden is so happy with himself. And he's getting tense around this fire, though, because... He knows that last time he caught himself on fire by accident when he went upstairs to put the fire out. And he wants to make sure that that doesn't happen this time. Uh. And he's feeling a little bit uncomfortable about it. But I think he's got it under control. Oh, oh. Grim's upset about the fire. 
That's okay, Grimmy. I don't think it would matter if you caught on fire or not. And the fire is out, and Aiden received 180 simoleons as an insurance pay payment for the items that were damaged in the recent fire on his lot. And let's see if... There's Faith Russo. She just invites herself in whenever she wants to. And you need to go... Uh, he needs to go over here. He needs to talk to poor Alexandra. And there's no console or anything, is there? No, there's not. Um, <laughs> he's going to get to know her. Where'd she go? She probably went to mourn over her poor husband's grave. That's my guess is where she went. And is she upstairs? She is. She's crying. <laughs> Poor thing. And he's going to talk to her and tell her how Robot sorry he is. Aiden has learned the following traits cheerful. about Alexandra. She's cheerful. Well, good. Maybe, maybe that will help her to um, get over her loss faster. He's going to be funny and tell an inside joke and try to cheer her up a little bit. He's going to joke about fashion. <laughs> He's going to tell her not knock joke. And here comes Faith Russo. She's going to get right in the middle. Tell a funny story. And there goes Mr. Grimm leaving. And it looks like Faith got the hint. It looks like she's leaving. We're going to tell joke about mimes. And tell an outrageous story. And flash crazy eyes. And we'll do a knock knock joke. And we're getting to be. Oh, Alexandra is very sad. Oh, poor Alexandra. But I think we're getting to be pretty good friends with her. Uh, we're going to compliment her outfit. We are going to, um, we're not going to ask her to move in just quite yet. Um, we're going to brighten her day. And we are going to, um, express our admiration. And we are going to have a deep conversation with her. And... Um, Aiden has now reached the comedy level five. Aiden can now practice comedy routine at a microphone or a mirror. And he is going to um, discuss the latest games with her. Is she leaving? Don't leave. Oh, we wanted to flirt with her before she left, but I guess she's leaving. Maybe she has work or something. Let's see. Yeah, she's leaving. Okay. Is she going home, or is she... She probably has work. I, um... Or something like that. Okay. Well, that is fine. And Aiden needs to pee so let's go pee he's feeling very confident because he has just killed oh my stop hold the phone who is this it's bob pancakes i do believe is that bob pancakes that's bob pancakes ghost oh my gosh this is the first ghost i have seen in the sims 4 Poor Bob Pancakes. And Bob probably knows that Aiden <laughs> killed him. He probably does know that Aiden's responsible for the fire that killed him. Um, so let's just go and see what Bob Pancakes is going to do. Bob Pancakes is coming into the bathroom with Aiden. 
And he's saying, why did you kill me and take me away from my wife? Why did you do that? My underwear no longer fits. <laughs> Ever since I've died. <laughs> Poor Bob Pancakes. Can we talk to Bob Pancakes? We can talk to Bob Pancakes. And let's ask him about being dead. <laughs> He's like, you know, sorry, guy, but I had to do it. And at least now Eliza's there with you. What's it like being dead, man? And we're going to um, compliment his outfit. And we're going to... Uh, let's show off our muscles. Oh, uh, have you been eating fast food in the nether in the afterlife? Um, we're going to brighten his day. And Aiden's like, you know, you need some mouthwash, dude. <laughs> Aiden's like, I'm really sorry that I had to kill you, bud, but Bob, but um, you know. I needed the money, and that was the easiest way I could think of to get it. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, yeah. Let's tell him a funny story, and then we're probably going to head out. Probably going to tell him goodbye. And I think Aiden probably will take all of the ashes with him when he moves. Just as a reminder of all the people who he, you know, has done in. And Bob, it looks like Bob is going to play on the computer. Oh, Bob is going to haunt the computer. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Bob is haunting our computer. Can we do anything while he's doing that? Um, I guess there's nothing about the ghost on here while he's haunting it. So, okay. Well, we'll just let Bob haunt the computer all he wants. I mean, this was Bob's house. So, I mean, he's pretty much free to make himself at home, whatever he wants to do. And so, yeah, there goes Bob. Bob is going to read a book. And Aiden has decided that he is, what time is it? It is 2.05, 2.06 a.m. Um, it's too late, really, to go uh, next door to Alexandra's house. But he's going to go out and have himself a celebratory drink. So that's what he is going to do. Um, so let's go over to, he's going to go over to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. Can we take Bob with us? No, evidently we can't take Bob with us, but that's okay. Um, we're going to go over to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar and have ourselves a drink to celebrate <laughs> the killing of poor Aaron Donaldson. And here we are at the bar. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And someone is getting down over here. Who is this person? <laughs> this person is Azure Meyer. Let's give her a friendly introduction. She has on, oh, she's the bartender, I guess. And Aiden, why are you tense, buddy? Can we order a drink for you? Let's sit down here and see if perhaps she will get behind the bar so that we can order us. No, she's not. Okay, well, we'll make our own drink then. We will make a... Flaming Zesty Salt. I like the flaming drinks. <laughs> uh, even though I think she's the bartender. Where's everybody? What's up? The cool door. 
You know, I know it's three o'clock in the morning, but that's never stopped people from coming here before. Okay. Aiden has acquired the mixology skill. Aiden's new skill in mixology will allow him to make drinks at the bar with more recipes unlocked at each higher level. And somebody was reading Point Farmer No More. Here comes somebody in. Who's this? This is Christopher Farnsworth. And, oh, here's somebody. Just taking a little while for things to get started. Who is this? This is Ralph Livingston. And is that it? Don't see any women. Well, he is going to drink his drink. And then he will be going on home. Um, and in a little while, he'll give Alexandra time to wake up. Then he will go over and see Alexandra. He'll go home and take a little nap. There's nothing really to do here right now because of the time of day that it is. There's nobody outside, is there? Nope, no one outside. Okay, what was that all about? I don't know. Okay, Aiden is going to go on home. And he's going to take a nap. Make sure all his needs are met. He acquired the mischief skill. Aiden's new skill in mischief will allow him to do trick with hand buzzer and several other mischievous social interactions. As the skill level increases, new mistress... Mischief interactions will be unlocked. Okay. He's going to go home now. And make sure all of his needs are met. Who's this? Allie Dillard. And then he will go and visit Alexandra a little bit later in the day. And see how she and Blaine are doing. And he actually, Aiden has no feelings at all for Aaron. He could care less that Aaron's dead. But Aiden remembers what it was like to be a teenager. And he actually feels a little bit sorry. He's feeling tense. He actually, actually feels a little bit sorry for Blaine. He really does. Uh, believe it or not because he does remember how awkward his teenage years were and how hard they were and he knows that how what it's like to grow up without a parent because even though um, Aiden lived with his mother she was never there she never was a good parent and Aiden never even met his father so he does feel Sorry for Blaine. But after he gets out of the tub so he can relax, I'm going to have him take a nap for a little while. And when he gets through napping, taking his bath and napping, um, then I will come right back. So I'll see you in just a minute, guys. Okay, so it is after 9 o'clock in the morning. It's almost 10. So Aiden is going to go over no one is home. No one is home at the Donaldson's house. Okay, that's not good. Um, well, it looks like he is going to work out. Let's, um, what we can do is, he is going to go over to the park. Um, can we travel with? She's not on the list. Okay. Faith Rousseau is. We could travel with Faith, but we're not going to. Um, he's going to go over to the park and hang out there for a little while. See who's there. See if there's anyone there he can meet. And he may call um, 
Alexandra and see if she'll come over. It's Saturday. Who's who are these people? Well, is that Alexandra? That's Alexandra right there. Ha ha ha. Okay. He is going to um, be friendly with her. He's going to brighten her day. And he's going to have a deep conversation with her. Tell her how sorry he is about her loss. He is going to um, express his admiration for her. And then he's going to try and see if he can do a little flirty flirting with her. And let's see how she takes this. Oh, she liked that. He is going to compliment her appearance. He is going to give her a pickup line. Did she like that? He is going to ask a risque question. He's saying, yes, wouldn't I look good in a little red sports car? <laughs> and he's feeling flirty. He is going to blow her a kiss. And he is going to ask her on a date and see if she'll go on a date with him. And will she say yes? Trips. All right. And let's see. Where should he go for the date? There's not really all that many places. Um, he could take her to the museum. Uh, he could take her to the Blue Velvet nightclub. It's a little early to go to a nightclub. Um, let's take her to the museum. Let's see if she likes art. And hopefully, <laughs> Faith Russo won't be there getting in the middle of everything. Okay, so here we are at the museum. Oh, we have goals over here. Our goals are to socialize with the date, have both Sims be flirty at the same time, and sit and talk with your date. So, that's what we are going to do. First, we are going to socialize with her. Um, he's going to flirt with her, try to get her in a flirty mood. He is going to embrace her if she'll let him. He is going to ask if she's single. He already knows that she is now single. He is going to compliment her appearance. He is going to blow her a kiss. And his cue is full. So let's see how this goes. He is going to offer her a rose. He is going to do a first kiss. <laughs> she likes it. She likes Aiden. And she took the rose. Good deal. And now let's go in for that first kiss. Here it goes. Oh, and she liked it. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, uh, let's see where we can sit and talk with her. We can sit over here together next to this beautiful fountain. So let's do that. And hopefully nobody will come over here and interrupt us. Are you coming? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you frozen? Is she frozen? Oh, there she goes. Okay. All right. Let's, um, he is going to, hey, don't go away. Okay. We'll fart. Let's see if we can call her over. Um, there's no call over. 
well poop we'll have to try sitting down again in just a minute let's embrace her and maybe she has to pee yeah she's just got to go pee okay well after she gets through peeing we will oh we're gonna follow her right in the bathroom why not with me let's see if we can sit here together Yeah. Okay, now this time we're not going to let her get away. Okay, we are going to give your date a massage. Ooh, okay, we can do that. We're going to um, compliment her appearance. We are going to confess our attraction. We are going to it says ask for massage it doesn't say give massage we are going to give her a massage and will she let us give her a massage and can we tell her a romantic story What? Let's see. Here we go. We need to tell her a story. Um, which we will. But first, he's going to... Uh, yeah, okay. We'll just go ahead and tell her a story. Let's see. Tell her a story. We will tell her an engaging story. Wixen, Swinja Yao Jinjorb, Simzay, Quarvo Bay. And it looks like we're doing pretty good on the date meter. So that's good. Chalk away. Huh? Huh? And we are going to have a deep conversation with her. Chavin Durkin. Oh, We're gonna ask Laura. about her love life. <laughs> and we are going to <laughs> snuggle with her. And we are going to We are going to get up and kiss her hands. Or I think we are. Uh, are we not going? What? We're not going to browse the stupid web. What is your problem, Aiden? We've got things to do. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and have another deep conversation with her to get that little goal out of the way. Steve Charso Denoy. Lizarak. Flagisi. Oh, Levine. All right. Now, I was hoping he could. Uh, let's caress her cheek. And let's ask to be her to be our girlfriend. Oh. He's saying you're so beautiful, Alexandra. Will you be our girlfriend? Yay! And she said yes. And with that, guys, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. But thank you so very, very much for watching. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.